Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Goat Milk episode 16. All right, so today is a very uh, special episode because this is the first time I've um, had a guest on the show that I basically didn't know at all. Um, this person I just contacted straight from the internet. That's probably not a good idea. Usually, kids don't do that. But um, uh, yeah, I, I discovered this person through Instagram ads and then I... I you know, liked what this person was doing, and I showed my friends, and it stayed like that, but then I got the idea, like, why not ask him to come on Goat Milk, so long story short, he's here now, and uh, yeah, without further ado, I'd like to welcome lone fighter in the music industry since 2018, <laughs> Likey! What's up, man? <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, this is your first podcast, yeah? Yeah, it is. Cool. Not my All right, one. Well, uh, I never made it that way. Yeah. Right. So, hey, welcome. So, how you been, man? How's how's life? Man, I'm good. I'm going to school again after yeah. all this uh, lockdown stuff happened. Um, I'm kind of stressed, but it's <laughs> it's okay. It's a pressure that you can handle. Yeah. Um, and I do a lot of music, and that's somehow a compensation. You know, that's all right. Right. So, um, for those who don't know, could you, like, who are you, man? Tell, tell, tell me about yourself. Like, what do you do? What's your, what's your thing? Um, man, what should I say? I mean, I make music. I'm a producer. I'm a singer. I'm a dancer. I'm a composer, or songwriter, all that kind of stuff. And I um, basically do it all on my own, and, which uh, ha hasn't worked at the beginning, but um since i developed pretty much i think in the last two years and that's where I, where i was starting with with all that um in the last two years i think i kind of developed um in every niche that i that i am into yeah. now so yeah i'm basically doing everything around the music and stuff and um, you know as i said i sing i produce i dance i record the music videos and i kind of try to follow a vision that I have in my in my mind and kind of bring it to the surface, you know? Right. Um, in terms of, um, oh, actually, before I ask that, let me first, you know, for those of you uh, who are wondering, explain how I found you. Um, I was just going through Instagram stories and I don't remember what the ad was, but um, I, it, it was you. It was, it was a post of yours. And then I, I, I found your stuff, and then I thought it was pretty cool. And um, how, how many followers do you have? You're like, you've got some attention. You like, like Yeah, I do. I, I'm really grateful for that because uh, when I think back one year ago, I, uh, I didn't even have a 1,000 followers. Um, and now I grew so huge, you know. I'm um, on my way to 5,000 now uh, on Instagram. Um, I have 2.5k on Spotify. Um, I'm working on YouTube. <laughs> that's not that's not right, my, right. my most successful platform yet, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm I'm going. Uh, I'm I'm growing. You know. Right, I'm right, right. Kind of developing. Yeah, man. Well, I, 2.5k on Spotify, Spotify is no, no small, small thing. That's, that's awesome, man. That's really um, awesome. I'm really yeah. Grateful. I, um, so, so yeah, yeah, I discovered, discovered your stuff. I thought it was cool. And, um, you're doing all this stuff by yourself, which is, is awesome. Um, and then I showed my friend Alex first. Alex was episode 15 right before this. And, um, he thought it was cool too. And then I showed my friend Isabella and then I showed my cousin in Canada. And then we all just kind of knew about you. And then we all kind of just, you know, listen to music or, or just were following you on Instagram. And then what's a, a cool thing that you do is you keep in touch with your followers, right? Like you send, send messages once in a while. Yeah. So um, Isabella got one from you and I was like, no way he's actually texting you. And then I thought like, so if he, like, if you read your DMs, which you do, I thought like, you know, why not give this a shot? And, and what's weird, I thought you were like at least 21, right? <laughs> we're the same age. <laughs> <laughs> We're the same age, so that's pretty interesting. Um, but I, what I wanted to ask was, um, 
when it comes to uh, making music and doing it by yourself and or like thinking of a topic like what what's kind of the process that leads to creating a song you know um i do a lot of songs like i literally start a new song every day every single day for real um because i always get an idea of a um for example how things could have happened in the past if um anything didn't happen or would have yeah, happened with a girl or something. yeah relationships or something love and all these things or i imagine to myself a new world that i've never even been into mm. um, that i kind of create in my fantasy and i want to show that to the world you know to the people and to feel um, a certain vibe that i want to achieve you know okay yeah or I just um, I'm just wondering about the future of my life, or I'm writing about the society or the things that I um, that I'm seeing and thinking about the world. So it's it's everything, you know. Every thought in my mind could end up in a song. Right. Um, sometimes, if these thoughts are very powerful and major thoughts i call them major major thoughts and they end up in a real song um, and that's kind of the process of it because i try to catch a thought and then i try to um turn it into a song yeah and, and if that works that song is finished you know right so if you get like some some thought or some idea that's that's really significant then that'll become like an official song that you release probably but there yeah. are Tons of thousands of songs that I never even never even finished because that wasn't a thought that was, that was worth it kind of right or it wasn't working. When you when you come up with a song and or uh, sorry like like an idea or a thought and that you want to turn into a song, what's like the first step do you take? Do you like write down the lyrics or do you go straight to your computer or like like what's the process from beginning to end? Um, that actually depends because. Um, uh, it could also happen that I first create the instrumental for a song and then mm. I think about what lyrics would fit there right. um, and the other way around sometimes. So, um, for example, I don't know if you heard my song Now I See yet. Yeah. yeah. But it's about a, it's about a girl and a, re a relationship that I had in the past. Um, and that was, of course, a song that I first written. Uh, I, I've written it down before I produced the instrumental and stuff because right. it was more lyric. But then there are other songs, for example, Need You All The Time. I don't know if you know that neither. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. Yeah. It's kind of just so dancing. Yeah, that's just pretty cool, man. And, and th these are the, the songs that I first create instrumentals for. And then I think about, okay, that could probably fit our um, ah. lyric wise, you know? Right, so so instrumental, f so so like instrumental first, and then, then you figure out what what could, what could I work into this? It depends. It depends. You know, for example, in that part in needy all the time. There is one part that I say, I'm fed up because you're needy all the time. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you're so blind. And that was when I produced the song, and I and I thought of, um, okay, that could fit there. Duh, 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 duh. And then I. Kind of wrote it down you know and it fitted right yeah, yeah, yeah. to the instrumental so that's one way that that it could develop and the other way is for example with now i see when i when i write okay um you know <laughs> the lyrics and then i uh, kind of compose everything else right okay that's yeah. the process yeah <laughs> I, I need you to tell me i have no idea i don't write music man so <laughs> i'm learning here too i think there's no rule for writing songs but that's just how i do it yeah. All right. Cool, man. How did you How did you get um, started in this world? Like, like when did you start making music? Actually, four years ago, um, my brother was the one in the family that was making music a lot, um, and I was kind of more into movie making, filmmaking, and oh, cool. camera and stuff. And I took a lot of pictures and um, movies, and I don't know. I never even thought of producing music. And at that point, but I kind of 
one night in 2016, I, I guess, um, I tried that program which I use, which is Logic Pro X, mm -hmm. and I love, it, I love it to date. Um, and I, I don't know, I I fallen into it, you know. Uh, right. Um, I kind of um, um, found that for me, you know. Right. You just like discovered the program and. My actual passion, because I always thought, okay, I want to be a cameraman or um, or a director or something for movies. Uh, but now I'm way more into music and stuff. Right. So, yeah, that was the moment that night when I when I found a program on my laptop. And and your and this stemmed from your brother. How how do how do friends and family like um, react to you? making music first of all i'm really grateful for them because yeah uh, so many fans uh friends i'm sorry mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and of course all the members of my family's uh family <laughs> who support me a lot um, and that means really much to me because uh, when i when i release a song uh, i can count on them that they put it in their story that they tell all their friends right. and that they spread right. me you know? They, yeah, they really spread it. They help me. They support me, even though it sometimes isn't even the taste of music they like. Mm. They have um, sometimes they just don't like a song of mine, and they and they tell me. Um, yeah. So they try to support me because they are my friends, and friendship is a is an is an important thing, you know. Yeah, um, I'm I'm grateful for that, and also my family is really supporting me. Um, financially uh and in other ways yeah right <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah i know what you mean I, bro if it were up to me i would not be making it right now yeah. i mean not making it but i wouldn't be able to survive <laughs> jeez louisa yeah so yeah. and and you're you're german your whole family's german i think you know, you, you. <laughs> yeah <laughs> what's it what's it like in germany how is it there uh it's a cool country actually i'm um I'm grateful to live here sometimes because um, we are somehow a wealthy country and yeah. um, we have a great. Uh, so I, I like the system we have in Germany. Like right. um, we don't have to worry about living on streets or something because we have a really powerful. Uh, let me translate that. Wait, is healthcare free there? Is healthcare free in Germany? What is healthcare, healthcare free? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Is yeah. it all over? Oh, <laughs> oh, by the way, is this Polish? She wanted you to know. She's what? from Poland. Is that my, my friend? She's yeah. she's Polish. She wanted you to know. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you <EU> gang. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I like to live there. Germany is yeah. a great country. That's great. You were telling me, um, uh, we, we had a, a little like, um, post meeting just to kind of set stuff up and, and uh, it turns out we both enjoy biking um, here in, in Vietnam everything is what is it like everything's like five minutes away it's, it's so close I live next to the mall I live next to my school I live next to whatever and I can go downtown in, in like 20 minutes and so biking is great but you also told me like people bike there a lot too right yeah that's awesome yeah hey love biking um, I wanted to ask you, how did you come up with your name? I know we spoke about this, but for the people watching, like what, what yeah. Um, so when I, when I started making music, I wasn't even planning to release it officially, you know, mm -hmm. but then kind of ended up in a point where I said, okay, it would be bad if I wouldn't, um, officially release it because in my opinion, the music needs to be heard. And there's always a place for my music in the world, I think. Um, and I realized that. So I kind of thought about, OK, which name could I use? Because I definitely don't want to use my private name, because I like to keep keep my private life private. And that's not, um, that's, hasn't got anything to do with my private life, you know, my right, separate them. life. Um, so I kind of thought of about, um, an artist name and I I thought about what about like me uh, which is quite irritating because it could also mean 
you gotta like me, you know? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that sounds like really extravagant and arrogant. Um, and that was not the message that I wanted to, uh, like you know. share. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, I wanted to, to call me like me because the music I make is like me and not, uh. the, you know, that way. I wanted to put it that way. But if, if I just call myself like me, there's still a possibility to think that you got to like me or something. Um, so I kind of, um, hide it that into one word mm -hmm. I, I put it all into one word and it like he was the world result you know yeah, yeah, and yeah. So now I, I am called like yeah it's that's smart to keep your uh personal life uh private yeah i feel like i've, I've kind of skipped the boat on that <laughs> like like i'm all over the internet now just my my private you know my, my my full name and everything i mean i don't worry about my safety like i'm not going to give out my address you know but um, yeah, it's it's smart that you did that. It's something to think about. Um, I mean, it's not, it's not my personal data that I want. Don't want people to know. Of course, it is. But um, when I when I'm writing music, as I told you before, it could somehow um, end up in a song uh, that deals with things that that I never even <laughs> sorry that deals with things that have never even been a part of my life of my real life. Mm. Uh, so they are really not a part of my life, of my private life. So that way I am able to put that into likey, you know, every, right. every, every thought that comes to my head, that is not even about my private life, but about my artistry. Mm. Would you consider likey to be like a different person, if that makes sense? Or do you kind of like claim that, or do you, or, or is it like, like when you're making music and when you're publishing things as Likey, you're just kind of like, like music only kind of switching to that, or like, how, how do you feel about that? Um, I think I'm actually quite different when I'm talking English and being uh, an artist talking mm. about my music. Stuff. I'm not that way in my in my private person. I think um, there are some similarities, but I really count on being um, another person, like an idea or a vision, as I told mm. you before. Um, I want to uh, transfer a vision right. that that's I have. Cool. In my life. And that's not my private life at all. OK. Yeah, yeah, that, that's OK, cool. Um, and uh, earlier you said that you're still in, or, yeah, you're in school right now. And um, how do you find time to balance both things? school and and making music uh, i don't find the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah well said I, I, I don't stress my, myself too much with school which yeah. um my parents don't appreciate oh man i, <laughs> I feel you dude i know <laughs> what you mean <laughs> yeah i'm really i'm not that kind of person that is learning all day and uh, preparing for school and stuff doing homework and amen you know. dude <laughs> yeah um <laughs> Actually, don't tell my teachers and stuff, but I really don't care about school at all. Okay. Um, if it doesn't in interest me. I mean, if it interests me, I always write an A. Um, oh, well, perfect. Yeah. 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 That doesn't work for me. <laughs> Even if I want to do well, I still don't. <laughs> but in my case, it's that way. And um, sometimes I'm, it's it doesn't interest me and I do nothing at all for it. So there's still much time left for uh, producing music and stuff and i kind of you know i'm coming through in school and it's not it's not like a major problem for me right yeah i think uh when it comes to i th i think that if you have something that you do that you're that you're super passionate about that you could spend hours and hours every day doing Honestly, that's kind of all you need to really get there. It's just that, that drive to just want to make it and want to put everything in it. And you, Honestly, obviously school is important because you have to do it. And you have to get through your diploma and yada, yada. But I mean, like having I, I, a lot of people don't have that one thing that they do that that like, like that, you know, like you can get sucked in for hours and you're just you're focused. Yeah, a lot of people don't have that. That's a really important thing, I think. Exactly. So it's it's good that you have that. It's, it's really great. Um, 
And since we spoke about your following, now you're approaching 5,000 followers. Um, you get, you get like fan interactions. You get a lot of those. Uh, more and more, <laughs> more, yeah. and more and more. Um, by now I get 70 DMs per day from oh, my people, God. which is wow. Uh, <laughs> and sometimes um, I can't even um, reply to them because it's it's so much. Uh, I forgot to reply to people for one day, yeah. And then the day I opened my DMs and it showed 150 new messages. Really? Uh, but I replied them. I replied to them and I uh, texted them back. Uh, but I think it, it's the time is getting sooner and sooner where I can make it that that way anymore because right. it's too much but i but i try to um appreciate every feedback that i get exactly. and i get a lot of that and a lot of support from the people and i think i kind of owe them to at least see their messages you know see what they have to say to me yeah right uh, and then if i find the time i always reply to that because um i appreciate it yeah. I want to um, so the messages you get are—is it like, like, is it always feedback on songs, or people saying hi, or? No. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's very inappropriate, like people. <laughs> <are> some... <laughs> really? <laughs> that, I, that I never asked for. Um, Wait, so you cut out? They send you what? Uh, let's not talk about that. Well, <laughs> okay. they're, they're sending really inappropriate things um, oh my god no way dude <laughs> <several pictures>. what <laughs> um, no way that's, that's so crazy okay yeah sorry continue. the third time last week for the for the third time um that i'm being on instagram as likey uh i got a um wait let me translate that yeah sure sure that's crazy <laughs> no proposal I, I got three marriage proposals in oh, my DMs. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's what? crazy. That's crazy. You're like 17, dude. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know how to handle that, you know, because if a girl texts you saying that she loves you just because you texted hi back, you know, yeah, she, yeah. she texts me hi and I text hi back, and then she's like, okay, are we in a relationship now or what? And it's like, no way. <laughs> I don't know That's if I'll handle that, probably. I was not expecting you to say that. I thought maybe just like, hey, man, great job with the new song, but nope. <laughs> I don't want to get married already. Wow. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. That's not. That's, not, um, I, not. that's the minority of people. Right, right. And most people are just saying that they like my music, which I appreciate, or that they support me, which I appreciate, or that they are friends, or they send me fan art. Artwork or drawings, oh, for example, cool. and that's the thing that I I'm really happy about when I see it because you know people are spending their own time yeah to draw yourself you know yeah like they 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 <laughs> they like they make sure of me they're taking time out of the day to do something for you yeah to to make you feel special that's yeah. really special yeah what's cool is that like now at least with the following that you have before it becomes too much you get to reply and they get to feel like wow he actually noticed what i did you know that's yeah that's awesome man yeah that's pretty nice do you find that uh oh yeah. go ahead no go ahead no i i just want to say that i want to give them something back for that right right um do you find that do fan interactions ever change the way you make music or is it more like they kind of push you to make more and more um it's both i think because mm -hmm. um you know there's some some comments that are really not helpful and that i <laughs> haven't yeah. asked for as well um had haters for example if people hate what i do which i don't understand because um if they don't like it why are they following why are yeah. they even following me and listen to every songs that i uh, that i release right I don't care. but um there are also comments that really push me forward. Like, um, a girl once told me that she was um, suicidal. Um, 
and she listened to Now I See, and then she kind of uh, chose that to be her song when she has, uh, when she is in that bad mood and uh, thinking about even killing herself, you know, which is quite tragic. And um, she's listening to my song then. And um, she told me that, and I'm really, I feel really blessed and honored by that because these are the moments that you know, okay you can really make a change in people's minds with your own art. Mm. Um, and that motivates so huge. Um, wow. You know, for that's just an example. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. crazy. To think, think that, that... that you, that what, that your art can, uh, can help somebody so much or like really change the way they think that's, that's crazy, man. Congrats to you. And, and you know, I'm glad she found something in you that that could really keep her going. That's great. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I feel very blessed by that. Uh, another reason why this episode is so important is because you are well. At the time of the release of this episode, you will have a new song out. So tell me about that. Um. Yeah. So the new song is uh, going to be quite in intimate and. Mm -hmm. Like I never even went that intimate before my songs. Um, it's dealing about um, um, a disorder that I have psychologically, um, because sometimes um, I don't know how to describe it. Because uh, sometimes um, when I walk on the street or something, mm -hmm. there is a feeling in me that is coming from my disorder that lets out panic and fear and bad feelings in me oh like and, a panic attack yeah yeah but very often you know like every day um, and i have a lot of uh, problems with derealization and depersonalization okay and that way it's like when you it's a loss of reality and you don't even you are not able to orientate uh, orientate yourself anymore. Mm -hmm. um, like you don't get what's happening. Um, and that's a bad thing that I have to deal with. Um, that I um, posted, like I, I posted it as a comment under my recent post on Instagram. And I got a huge feedback on this, uh, on this and I got a huge support from everyone telling me um, that I'm really strong to uh, kind of be able to share that with people uh, talk about it or um, just handling it in my in my everyday life um, so that's the thing that I had to let out to the to the surface because um, it was a thing that I always hide it mm. um, and now I feel like I don't need to hide anything anymore and it's getting way better right now um, I feel much better, and that song is like a continuation of letting it all out. I put it all right. into it, um, and I think the moment I release it is like a great relief for me. Right off your chest, um, because yeah, because I put uh, every thought that I had about it into the song, mm -hmm. and then I put it out, and it's just you know it's gone i hope that <laughs> right like you just, you just like letting go putting it out there like you're, you're, you're I mean, free of it it's going to be uh there forever probably because um it's a thing that you can really heal but it's uh it could get better or worse and i think it gets better right now and yeah. um, so the song is called leave me tonight which is of course about um speaking to my panic disorder <laughs> like leave me tonight <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, they're letting it out, and it's very emotional. It's like a mix of a ballad and, but with a beat and um, crazy vocals sometimes. Uh, mm. It's like an experiment of sound for me, um, and an experiment for sharing my inner feelings with the world. Um, yeah. This so I, I put very much into it. Does putting out something, well, I'd assume that, well, I know for me, if I, if I had to share something like this, that'd be tough. Does like 
like how do you do you feel any like fear or is it excitement like like w releasing this song like how do you feel about putting it out because i know you're ready to let go but is there some kind of like 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 you know um yeah i i get you um but i i gotta say that i have that disorder for more than one year now mm -hmm. and, and i i accepted it as, as a part of my life really and it's not i mean i'm afraid to share it of course because it's yeah. uh, so intimate and people can really hurt you um by for example hating it or um doing anything with it that you don't want them to do and um, because it's a really personal song but i think because um of my latest post as well um that most of these people are really supportive and um always there for me and they uh, and they slide it into my dms and told me that they're always there for me and i can always share my problems with them which is quite um special it's amazing. To, you know it's, it's really amazing and i and i'm not that afraid anymore and i feel mm -hmm. ready to share that right now because i know there will be some people who won't get it or won't understand what it's about because they don't have that thing you know um but anyway i've made the experience that people are much more supportive than they are hating you you know and mm. in, in yeah. more cases, they are just supportive and there for you so um i am looking forward to it and and i'm very i'm, I'm really very ready for that i'm sorry yeah that's awesome hey man putting out something like that that's so personal takes a big balls to do that man so congrats to you yeah man um the, the links to everything will be available in the description and um like his instagram and youtube and everything you can find all of that there um i'm really excited for the song i can't wait <laughs> i saw you put like a, a little preview on instagram so that's that's all we get so far but it's gonna be amazing yeah man so Right about right about now is uh, when we start to wrap things up. Um, is there anything you'd like to add at all? Uh, any promotion? Anything? anything oh yeah, I want people to watch the music video as well, which I'm recording right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, yesterday I began to record it. Like for those who don't know it, it's Sunday today, you know. Yeah. Uh, um, and I have about one more week to go. And then I release it on Friday, the 17th as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have a picture with me from the music video, from the things that I just recorded yesterday, uh, just for a teaser, you know? Okay. Cool. All right. Well, people, you know what to do. Go show this man some love. Um, all right. I think we're good here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank all you right. very much. For of course, dude. Thank you for coming on. Really appreciate it. Me too. Me yeah, too. man. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Uh, this podcast is available on, uh, what is it? <laughs> Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Uh, for the smaller uh, platforms, that's, there's a Google Doc in the description. You can check that out. Um, thank you for tuning in. You know, thank you again for coming on. You're a great guest. Thank you, man. Super excited to see what the future holds for you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Goodbye. Bye. See you. Bye.